A live Good presser right everyone. now with the story Chelsea uh, buying for was following. We're going to listen in right now. The event that happened earlier today at 1100 Spring Street. Uh, at about 1217, the individual arrived on the scene uh, and posted up outside of the building. Um, at that time, the security guard noticed that the individual was attempting uh, to set themselves afire. Um, he immediately attempted but failed to stop the individual. Both individuals sustained burns. The security guard was burned on his wrist as well as his leg. Uh, the indiv other individual received 100 degree burns uh, to the body, full thickness, and they were both transported to Grady for treatment. Uh, clearly this was considered to be arson, however it is a joint investigation uh, between Atlanta Police and Atlanta Fire and it is ongoing. Uh, obviously you are concerned about safety in the community and so we have the police chief here now to talk about the efforts there. Thank you, Chief Smith. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you being here and taking this message to, uh, to the city of Atlanta and the region. As the chief stated, we are here in support of Atlanta Fire Rescue. Uh, because of this location uh, being home to the Israeli consulate, uh, there was a robust law enforcement response, not only from the Atlanta Police Department's Homeland Security Unit, but also from our federal authorities. Uh, we can tell you at this time, we do not believe there's any nexus uh, to terrorism at this location. Uh, we do believe at this time, based on the evidence that we have, the information that is readily available for us, this was likely an extreme act of political protest that occurred here today. And as the fire chief stated, the individuals that are injured is a, uh, the individual that was uh, carrying out a protest and a security guard that tried to stop uh, the act to save the individual's life uh, was injured uh, when the fire started. Uh, but the uh, community is safe. Um, this department is aware of the tensions that are present right now in the Jewish community and in the Muslim community. Uh, we actually have dedicated patrols that are occurring at this location and at other Jewish and Muslim communities in the city. One of those officers were hit, was here and responded quickly uh, once the incident occurred. We continue to ensure that everyone is protected in Atlanta, Georgia, regardless of your religion, regardless of your heritage, regardless of your nationality. And we will continue to remain vigilant uh, to ensure that everyone remains safe and that we work with our partners and our authorities uh, to give that assurance to the residents of Atlanta. Chief. I could not hear you, I'm sorry. What is the woman's condition right now? Right now they are in critical condition. Can you tell us if it's a woman or a man? Uh, we don't have that information at this time. We're also hearing that the person was wrapped in a Palestinian flag. Can you confirm that? I can tell you that a Palestinian flag was recovered at the location and was part of the protest. Was at any point uh, this person tried to enter the Israeli consulate? Was that the final intention here? This is an investigative in the earliest stages. It appears to have been focused outside the building. Uh, I'm not aware of an attempt to enter the building. I can assure you that the diplomatic staff is safe. I have met with the Consul General, uh, and the staff is safe. Uh, all the residents of this building are safe, and we do not believe at any time they were in danger. And how far into the building did the person make it? They were outside the building at the entire time, sir. So yep. they were in the lobby? Uh, they were outside the building, sir. What did she use as an accelerant? Uh, we found evidence of gasoline being utilized as an accelerant. That we are aware of, yes. Can you give us an age range of the um, individual that took the on fire? We don't have any information related to age range or gender at this time. Sir, did the, did the woman say anything? We are unaware of anything was being said. However, the individual was transported in, and they are in critical condition. Have you had the chance to talk to anyone at the uh, consulate yet? And if so, have they said anything about me? Ma'am, I couldn't hear your entire question. I said, have you guys had a chance to talk with anyone inside the consulate? And if so, have they said anything about any threats they can use? We have met with the Council General and her staff, both the fire chief and I did as well, as well as members of the uh, federal uh, diplomatic community. Uh, right now, we're not aware of any credible threat against this location, uh, against the, uh, embassy, the consulate or its staff or anyone in this building. We believe this building remains safe and we do not see any threat here. We believe it was an act of extreme uh, political protest that occurred. Last question. Did you say that the protester is in critical condition and the security guard? I'm sorry. Just for clarification, the protester is the one in critical condition. Thank you. All right, thank you everyone. If you have any other questions, you can direct them to our, our email.
you all should already have it. Thank you. You've Jean. been listening live to Atlanta police officers really giving us an update um, on what happened in front of the Israeli consulate on Spring Street in Midtown Atlanta as a form of extreme political protest. They say a woman um, tried to set herself on fire. Um, there was a Palestinian flag found there in front of the Israeli consulate. Also, a security guard has been injured in the process of trying to help put out that fire, that protester in critical condition. Uh, we are still waiting to find out the condition of the security guard, but they are certainly seriously injured as well. As this story will continue to find updates on for you. Atlanta News First at 3. We'll continue right after this.